Okay, we're doing the 2014 marginal costing question. Um, this is question 8a. Um, and all I'm doing in this is the calculations. On a separate video, I'm going to do how to do the break even point for this and any other question. So we start off by laying out our sales and our costs, and we put our formulas down. Uh, the second formula here is just restating this one here. So I bring fixed cost, which is a minus, bring it over as a plus, so I add it on to profit, and then I divide that by the contribution, which is the name given to the sales minus variable cost figure. Some people may find this formula more useful, but this is the formula I tend to use all the time. So I need to work out my sales price, first of all. So 480,000 divided by the 16,000 we'll plan to sell, so that our sales price is 30 euro per unit. We need to divide our, um, our costs up now to the variable and fixed elements. So it says materials, direct labour, they're variable. So 120,000 divided by 16,000 and that gives us our variable cost per unit and there's no fixed costs. Uh, we do something similar for our direct labour. We divide our 110,000 by the 16,000 we're going to sell and we have zero fixed costs. Factory overheads, it says a third are variable. So a third of 60,000 is 20,000. So 20,000, we divide that by 16. And then the remaining 20,000 taken away from 60 means there's 40 left, which are going to be the fixed element. Administration, it says 65,000 of administration is fixed. 65 goes there. So the total fixed then is going to be 105. And 65 taken from 105 means there's 40,000 left. So 40,000, we divide that by the 60,000. Uh, 16,000 we're going to sell, so 2.5 per unit. So the total of all of our variable costs is going to be all of those numbers added together. Okay, and then that's the total of our fixed costs. So first thing we're asked to do is we're asked to work out our break-even point. So using the formula, sales is 30, uh, 18.1 one two five is our variable costs. We multiply that by quantity. Quantity is the unknown at break even point. Take away from that our fixed costs, which is one oh five, and that will give us uh, zero because at break even point we make no profit. So here we can use our bottom formula if we like. So uh, quantity uh, will be now our fixed cost, which is uh, 105 we divide that by our contribution which is our uh, sales of 30 minus the uh, 18125 which is our variable cost uh, so that's units so that's the minimum number of units we must sell if you sell less than that we're going to make a loss if you sell more make a profit we need to turn that now into euros so to do that I'm going to use my sales revenue so that so that's how much money I will take in if I sell that number of units of the 8,800 units I could use the total cost uh, as well I'll get the same figure the sales revenue is going to be 30 euro per unit multiplied by the 8,800 so if I sell 265,000 euros worth of gear, uh, then I'm going to uh, be in break even. If I sell more, I make a profit. If I sell less, I make a loss. Okay. So my marginal safety. So marginal safety is how much of a cushion I have, how much I can allow my sales to fall. So we're currently selling 16,000. Our forecast sell 16,000 uh, units. Uh, we ex we have a break-even point of 8,842, so that means our margin of safety is 7,000 units. So we can allow our sales to fall by up to 7,000 units. If it falls by much more than that, then we're making a loss. Okay, so now move on to uh, part three. Now remember, I did say I'll be doing, in a separate video, I'll be doing how to do the graph, okay, which is a fairly rough graph. Okay, so now uh, in this one, uh, certain things have changed. Okay, so we're going to restate our formula again. Um, and 
see what has happened to some of our costs and we're looking to find out how much profit we would make. So we're going to reduce the selling price by 5%. So that means our selling price is currently 30 euro. 5% of that is 1.5. Take it away. So our new selling price is 28.5. Uh, what's happened to variable costs? It says nothing. It just says advertising is increased. So that's a fixed cost. So variable cost is going to be the same. 18.125. Um, our quantity is going to be increased to 19,000. We take away our now it's our variable cost was 105. We have 5,000 added on to that, so it's 110. Okay, and that's going to be our new profit. Okay, so uh, if we start working out some of the numbers here. So first of all, we've got uh, 28.5 28 uh, minus uh, the variable cost here, which I have to take it from up here. Okay, and I'm gonna multiply that by 19,000. Uh, so that gives us that amount of euros. Uh, I then take away from that the fixed cost. So that there I'll label as contribution. I take away from that fixed cost, which is uh, 110. And that'll give me my new profit. Okay. So 87,125 is my new profit. So part four. The number of units sold 26 to provide a profit of 20% of the sales re revenue received from these units. So this, this is a little bit more complicated. So again, I'm sticking with the same formula. So number of units must be sold at 26 euro. So it's 26. Uh, nothing to, there's no change in fixed or variable costs, so it's minus 18.125. Um, times Q, so the number of units, Q is the missing figure, um, minus uh, fixed cost, which is 105, it's the original fixed cost, um, equals now the profit. Profit is going to be 20% of the sales revenue from the sales of these units. So sales revenue is going to be 20% of uh, sales revenue is sales price. Sales price is 26 uh, multiplied by uh, the quantity. Okay, so I need to work out what uh, all of that is going to be. So 26, let's see, 28, 26.26. Minus uh, 18.125, so I just do that over here. 26 uh, minus 18.125 is 7.875. Okay, so I'm going to end up with uh, 7.875q. Uh, now, if I bring my 105 over to the other side, equals uh, 105. Um, plus now 20% of 26 is 5.2 okay multiply by Q so put all the Q's on one side and everything else on the other side so I'll end up with uh, 7.875 Q um, minus because this 5.2 was on the other side as a plus, so minus 5.2 Q equals 105. Okay, so that means Q equals now it's 105 divided by and it's 7.875 minus 5.2. So there, 7.875 minus 5.2, that was all the Qs that were on the left side. They were, they were multiplying, so I bring them over and make them into a plus. So that's 39,526, and that's profit, so that means the answer is in euros. So we'll just label our answer.
Okay, moving on to part five. So again, we're trying to work out the profit. If commission was given to sales personnel, a commission on sales is going to be a variable cost. One extra per unit on packaging, that's also a variable cost. And sales increase, so fixed cost is not going to change. So it says sales is going to be increased to 34 per unit minus. Now, the variable cost was, uh, it was 18.175. 5% of sales is going to have to be added onto that. So I'll just do a little 18.125 plus I'm going to add onto that the 5% uh, commission. Now 5% of 34 euro is 7.7. Uh, 7. uh, let's just check. 5% of 30 is 1. No, that's not right. I'll put it in here, so it's 5% of uh, 34. Come back and work that out later. Plus the packaging, which is one euro. So all of that is our contribution. Multiply that by uh, the quantity. The quantity is going to be 17,000. Now, no change fixed costs, so it's 105. And that gives us an answer of our profit. Okay, so just quickly working out over here, um, 34 uh, times 0 0.05 to get 5%, 1 1.7. Okay, so, so that means my variable cost is going to be uh, 18.125 plus 1.7 plus 1 for the packaging, so it's 20. So, my formula now is <coughs> 34 minus uh, 20.825 uh, multiplied by 17,000 minus 105, the original fixed cost, equals our profit. So, uh, if I start working out this part here, so, so 34 times, sorry, so 34 minus uh, 20.825, multiply that by our 17,000. So that's the figure that's going to be our contribution. We take away from that our fixed costs. Which is 105. And it gives our profit. Okay, I hope that makes a bit of sense uh, and enjoy.